Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a timeless message for the collective. Okay, only take the messages that resonate with you. Leave what does not, and we are starting with the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. So it's like you went from not seeing it to I'm here and believing it. <laughs> I'm okay. So what I'm getting is you went from not seeing the obstacle to obviously seeing it and being able to walk away. So some something about your blindfold was taking off, taken off, or is being taken off of you. Okay, collective. So let's see what that energy is about because we got right into it. I didn't even get a chance to say, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, like we got straight there. So it was, it was like this blindfold, whatever this trickery was, it didn't, I don't know. I didn't, I don't want to say it didn't last long. For some of you, it either it didn't last long or the process of how it revealed or how something unfolded was really quick. So, for example, you could have been dealing with someone or some sort of situation, right, for a really long time. But it's almost just like snap of a finger, something was revealed, like something just started crumbling. All right, I'm getting this could be um, a relationship or this could be like a business um, I don't know if this is a relationship. This sword is giving me like deception, this is giving me lies. Like, someone could have been putting up a facade for a really long time, and then it's almost like overnight you found out some information, and just from there, boom, everything else just comes splurging out like oozing out. All the other lies and deception just come out. So that could be the case, or if this is like a business, this could be um, like, I don't know, like someone finds out some sort of information about the company, some sort of truth about the company, and they just, I don't know if they being blackmailed, <laughs> or just something comes out, or this could be like, I'm here like the mass leaving, the mass, not, I want to say the mass firing, but it's not a firing. I feel like people are leaving. Like some sort of information comes out and one person quits, then the next person quits, then the next person, then the next thing, you know, the company is short staffed and that's the type of vibe. It's, it's like something just unravels really quickly. All right, so let's pull the clarifier. What is, um, okay, so yeah, this is definitely about some sort of stability. So four of pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck is the two of cups. <laughs> like with this two of cups, it's like someone's emotion was on the line, but I feel like you're not putting your emotions on the line. With this four of pentacles in reverse, like I said, this is stability. So this could be a relationship where, like I said, everything seemed, was seemingly good and then someone finds out a truth and then next thing you know, the partnership is undone. You know, there's some sort of separation going on. This could be a friendship you found out or so-and-so found out that X, Y, and Z was gossiping and then boom, friendship done. This could be a business where, like I said, someone finds out some sort of truth about the company, they get either get blackmail or just people just start quitting. You know, this is about stability. So let me take this two of cups. But like I said, I, I feel like the losing party is wanting people to put their emotions on the line. <laughs> Like they're saying, well, can you do it for me? Like, I don't know, that's what I'm hearing. Like someone saying, well, can you do this for me? Or I don't know, if they're not saying it, they're expecting you to forgive them or they're expecting you to do this for them. 
They're expecting you to put something on the line and you're just like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. And they're, I don't know, for some of you, they could be surprised, like what? Like this could be a company, which is weird. Like this could be a company that's surprised that you're not, oh, you've been here for so long. We thought you loved the job. We thought you, like they're trying to guilt trip you. Like we thought you loved the job. We thought you would do this because, you know, it would help us out. Like. Oh, this was a paycheck <laughs> or this could be a friend or a partner both like whatever because that's like they're both intimate relationships like a friend and a partner so this could be some sort of person who was in intimately in your life and they're like what so I've known you for this long and you're not gonna you're not gonna lie for me you're not gonna lay down and die for me and, and they're surprised. I don't know where they got that notion from. I guess they expected years of time, something, whatever bond you had to supersede your logic, supersede your, first of all, your need to self, self your need for self-preservation and your ancestors or your spirit guides need to preserve you. I don't know why they thought you was gonna lay down and die. What song is out here on like that Kodak Black song? And I can't remember how it go, but I know he say something. You gonna lay down for me? You gonna lay down and die for me? Yeah. What he say? Yeah, little bitch, or someone, whatever he say. Yeah, I lie to you, but don't you lie to me. What song is that? You bow down to me. You go down. But he say something. Okay. If you know the song I'm talking about, but that's that's the lyric. You go down for me. Or you bow down to me. Yeah, I lie to you. And he say that. Yeah, I lie to you, but don't you lie to me. So I don't know. Someone throw it like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what type of loyalty that you had where you was going to lay down and die but like shit i feel like like i said you was on the verge of doing that dumb shit <laughs> excuse me like you was on the verge of that but like they underestimated like your desire for self-preservation overall or your like i said your spirit guides your ancestors need to pre preserve you and protect you like for example <laughs> you know, you ever heard when people be like, oh, I, pr I pray to God to remove my enemies. And next thing you know, my man left me or my woman left me. It's that type of energy. It's like, I don't know. Like, spirit is just like, oh, 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 you thought you liked this person? Well, what about this? <laughs> What if I told you this about them? You still don't like it? And you're like, oh, shit, nah, no thank you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, Sparrow was like, oh, let me let me show you this. Oh, boom. Uh, you still like that shit? No. And yeah, so like, I don't know. So someone thought, like, hopefully you was going to be stupid enough, stupid enough with this, this two of um, cups here. I don't want to say stupid. Let me not say stupid. You were going to be ride or die <laughs> enough. <laughs> like, I don't know what type of loyalty they thought that. Yeah, judgment reverse. I'm putting the deck. <laughs> I don't know what type of loyalty they thought you was going to give that you was just like going to be doormat for life. <laughs> like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> Uh, this could, I was just about to say, this could be family, you know, with the Queen of Swords reverse. This could be family, too. I was just about to say that. This could be family that's thinking you're going to lay down and die for them. You're going to take the charge. <laughs> yeah, but this Queen of Swords in reverse is literally saying, um, no. Like, this is you. No. No is a complete sentence, and they're just like, oh, oh. That is the wheel. That is grinding their gears <laughs> with this wheel card. The fact that 
and again this is the wheel like this is i want to say the world as well but this is the wheel this is something that turned something shifted okay your perception of something shifted with this wheel and you're like oh yeah i thought i was nah you didn't even think you were gonna die you was just loyal you know you knew what loyalty was but they thought loyalty meant ride or die like you do anything for them meanwhile i highly doubt this person would have did that for you but that's, that's usually the case you know someone always wants you to go out of your way but like they won't go out of their way and that's 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 usually a big lesson learned so that's why something shifted so quickly in your favor where it's like no thank you you know what i'm saying very quickly very very quickly you set up a boundary and very very quickly somebody got upset and just like that fake friend friend of me fake um lover um dead end job whatever it is just like that they got exposed all right and just like that things shifted for them you know because some of some of these people really could have been dependent on you like especially like i said if this was an intimate relationship excuse me with this ace of cups in reverse like one-on-one -on -one, this is giving me one-on-one -on -one time you spent one-on-one -on -one time with whoever this person is <clears throat> they feel like That, I don't know, like like I said, I don't know. <laughs> they felt like that intimacy meant that you were the one. And also they felt like, you know, for some of you, like you could have been the only one with the Ace of Cups, the only one that would have satisfied whatever itch that was, because my nose just itched. And that's like Pinocchio, <laughs> you know, when you be lying, nose grow so my nose just itched he was the only one that could scratch that itch that he was the only one that you know they could trauma dump on and you accept their pain or whatever role that you play to this person and it's unfortunate like you're not the only victim like there's, there's more than one victim but again back to one more than one victim but you are the one that could do x y and z the most like I said, whatever itch that you scratched, you did it damn well. But you need to stop that shit, <laughs> okay? Spirit is urging you to stop scratching that itch on other people. Scratch your own ass, okay? <laughs> All right, so we pull another card. Moon, God, we got the moon. Yeah, we have the moon and the ace of wands. So it's like someone, yeah, wanting to keep you in darkness. Or this could be self, something that you're doing, self, some sort of self-sabotage where, well, that was self-sabotage. You giving and you scratching that itch for other people is a part of self-sabotage, right? It's almost people-pleasing and also allowing yourself with this darkness here, the moon, this is like allowing yourself to be that outlet. You know, with the moon being that source of light, you are, yeah, yes. Okay, I see it now. With the moon being that source of light, you are that source of light. So you're attracting, you're attracting the wolves and you're attracting the scorpion over there. You know, so you're attracting some, some, not to say they're really bad, but you know. In most cases, people see them as negative. So you're attracting negative energies and because you're the outlet, you're the source of light for something, 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 okay? But like I said, spirit is like, <laughs> spirit just, just threw something in your eyeball, was like, look at this. <laughs> like you had no choice but to open your eyes because they threw it at your eyeball. That's another thing. Well, first of all, with this little blindfold here, but I'm getting that energy with the these swords here, because that's like your mind's eye, and your mind's eye is like, you know, that can be 
Yeah, your third eye, but like your mental, like how clearly are you thinking? Mental clarity, being able to see things in your mind's eye, having clarity. So again, you are the source of lightness and you could see something. Okay, the spirit is saying, please, you, you need not to be the source for everyone's healing, the source for everyone's trauma dumping, the source of light is yours okay <laughs> like this this is the urge to look at this here they both in reverse oh this is a hell to the nizna hell to the no 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 hell to the no to the no 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 both of their asses is in reverse <laughs> the queen of swords and the the king of swords this is both of them saying no. This is like when both parents, like when you can't pull a fast one on both parents. Like, yeah, this is that kid like, oh, if mom says no, I'm going to go to dad. But damn, dad says no? Oh, hell no. Hell no. So this is what I'm getting. Someone is feeling that energy of rejection from you. Or if they don't feel it yet, they're about to. They're about to feel that energy of rejection. And it's like, whoa. And again, remember I said this is like the ancestors? The ancestors said, look at this shit, right? Again with the swords. This is like <laughs> the masculine and feminine ancestors said no. Again, this is mom and dad said no. This is like, didn't I say no is a complete sentence? I definitely said that earlier in the reading. That was a complete sentence. So, uh, you mean it this time. The spirit is saying, if you don't, if you didn't think you mean it, meant it last time, well, you don't mean it this time. Whatever you're going to see is going to make you like, yeesh. <laughs> I don't know, like, oof. Like, oh. That's what I, again, with this wheel, that's what I was about to get into. That's what I was about to fall and be a part of that's the cycle with that wheel i was about to be a part of no thank you no no is a complete sentence and what both uh -uh. mom and dad said no you cannot help this person okay excuse me you cannot help this person you cannot be their source of life. I don't care if they're your friend. I don't care if they're your lover. And look, especially if this is a love, like, I don't, this is the answer. I don't care. Excuse me. I say, I don't care. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, let me actually, yeah, let's just, because a solid no like this, when I, <laughs> the solid no like this requires a goddess. Um, cause this is some higher power shit. Like, this requires um, a goddess pull. So, give me one card, please. Feeling safe. Storms. So, feeling safe. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie and oh wow and now I see the connection now I see the connection okay so feeling safe I was laughing because this kind of looked like a kid when they grounded and they sitting in their room like hmm this looked like a little girl pouting I know this is like a, a goddess a woman but this looks like a little girl in their room this is a child pouting they're in the, they're imagining they're out free in the world, but oh man, those shitty parents, how dare they make you feel safe? You get what I'm saying? So it's like the ancestors want you to realize this no or this you, this person fucking up, whatever the release is, it's not to punish you. <laughs> 
is not to punish you. They're protecting you. They're literally doing what they're supposed to do. They're doing their divine job by protecting you from the BS. And you're like, oh my God, I can't go wild. I can't feel wild free. I can't be wild free and young. I'm in this motherfucker feeling safe and grounded. Yeah, yeah, grounded, grounded. Isn't that funny? When we're a child, they say, if your parents would say you're grounded, it's the end of the world. But as an adult, we seek to feel grounded. Look, unfortunately, look, wow, that's down. This is getting deeper. And I didn't want this reading to be long. But unfortunately, for some of you, you might have lost your parents or you might have lost a parental figure, right? So in our adulthood, it's like learning to appreciate feeling safe and feeling warm and sometimes that rejection. So learn to appreciate this rejection because this is divine protection. But another thing that I noticed, right, when I was initially looking at this card and I was saying this is being grounded and, you know, but in the negative light where a child will feel upset. This is the number four. And we started here where someone wanted to, or whatever energy wanted to destabilize you with this four of pentacles in reverse. So like I said, emotions, <laughs> isn't it funny? You know, people want you to pay with emotions and want you to feel grounded as in punishment, feel tied to them when in fact, you're grounded and feeling safe enough to walk away. Ain't that some shit? So it's about perspective. I usually like to read the uh, message, so I will real quick, even though I don't want this reading to be long. Hey, Barbados. Okay. <laughs> so again, <laughs> wild and free it is fine wait it is finally safe to be you being grounded being solid in your decisions anyway you have wandered through a dark night your trip has been long dark night the moon there is light ahead your liberation is apparent i am safe it is safe to be safe Hey, hold on, hold on, because I wasn't going to read this message right here. But look at this. We're talking about growing up, right? <laughs> yeah, Talking about growing up and how you, how your parents grow you, right? If you grew up emotionally, spiritually, or physically unsafe, reset your default expectations to a healthier vibration. But I'm just, that part right there, if you grew up, and again, I was speaking about parents, I'm going to leave this there because that, <laughs> that was enough for me. And I hope it was enough for you. <laughs> okay, they said no. You can't help them. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you want to book a personal, all that is down below. Okay, <laughs> bye.